Hey guys, Razor from Razor's Edge here. Um, this is my video blog. Uh, I spelled Razor's wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm here to talk about a couple different things. One, I want to explain um, some of the feedback that I've gotten on the forums um, and maybe some of the confusion. So these aren't reviews, they're previews. Um, first looks as I've called them and, and somebody actually pointed it out and I agreed with them that, you know, it's not fair unless you're throwing out a honest re opinion. And I really can't give you a review of a game that's not finished. That's just my opinion. But what I can do is give you a first look. Now I'm going to go through some of these titles that I'm working on right now. Um, and I'm going to tell you which ones that I've paid for because they're my genre and games that I play. And then I'm going to tell you the ones that I've gotten off Keymailer or other, you know, other publishers. So let's start out with Freeman Star Edge. Now, this is a Kickstarter program. I just found out about them, actually. Um, they're doing a lot of work. It's a family project. I've covered that. Um, the way I do my content is that if I learn new mechanics and there's enough to make a video, I make a video and I'll show off the new features. Um, if there's a patch, I will go in and cover that if it's a major patch and not just a bug fix. The games that you no longer see covered are either abandoned where or they're doing fine. So that's my goal is to show off the content of the game and I kind of look at a game as like uh, a new toy you unwrap the typical gamer like me it I look for a tutorial I may or may not do the tutorial I don't know it just depends um, I look at the setup the settings uh, the requirements I look at the form some of the feedback on there um, and then, you know, what people were saying, can't do this, can't do that. And, and the response of the developers, that's one of the big key factors. Now that's the games that I buy now on some of the previews that I do, I don't always get, you know, any, any, the, sometimes there's no comments on the forum. There's no pictures. There's nothing. So the only thing I can do is basically unwrap the gift that I've been giving and play it as a first player experience. Now I can sit back and I can learn the game and play for six or seven hours, but a typical gamer is not going to do that. He's going to buy the game, he's going to play it, and he's going to either leave comments in the forum or he's going to and, and thumbs down or he's just going to walk away. Now, I don't get a lot of keys um, because I obviously don't have a lot of subs. I've only been streaming for about four months and, and most of the views have been pretty good, but they're on games that I bought. So having talked about Freeman logo and and and, and I will be doing more coverage on Freeman's uh, Star Edge. There is a demo for it. So go buy, you know, go download that and play it for yourself. I've been doing some videos on just gameplay mechanics. I really, the space stuff is okay for me, but I like the combat. I love the squad maneuvers, the missions, the, the way I can manipulate my squad and the AI. Um, it really is a very cool, uh, non turn based, uh, tactical game that I've really enjoyed and it is, uh, not even finished. It won't even be ready for first quarter for, uh, for Steam. So let's talk about the next title, Kingdoms. I actually bought that game on a whim because it looked a lot like Guild 3. And it also had, looked like it had something else that I played called Mountain Blade. Met the developer, started talking to him, offered to help, work on it, moderated the forums, and we're still covering it. Um, and Max is still working on the game. So when there's more content to show, um, we'll be continuing those videos. So I, I don't give up on titles until they give up on me. And so far, Max has not given up on anybody. He's had lots of issues uh, with family and just, you know, typical stuff that happens to human beings. So um, I, I still have a lot of respect and a lot of hope. I know this game's coming out. I'm not worried about it. 
Kenshi. I've been doing a lot of videos on Kenshi because that was actually the first early access that I jumped into. And I think that was like four years ago. I went through the ups and downs of that game. Um, the developers were very involved. And it really um, played to the, uh, again, the squad tactics base building. Because those are the kind of games I like. That and, and shooters. Um, and and I, I really enjoyed that game. So... As kind of their GE release or GA release, um, I wanted to to do you know a sort of tutorial walkthrough. Um, I just I have not had time to do work on that third episode, but it is coming. I promise. So, Stable Orbit. Um, I actually have been playing this. This is a learn as you go. Um, I, you know, it's it, that's the whole premise of this game is to actually figure out the mechanics of what little mistakes you can make what it'll cost your entire um your entire space station um and i'm actually in a competition right now with Motoy Moto gaming so and he he's actually i think now beating me because i got involved so much with um the the latest games that i've been involved in that i fell behind so I, I owe them another video on that, but they're still pumping out updates. Um, they haven't abandoned it, so a lot of promise for that. So Guild 3, this is a game that I actually played the entire series. Um, I paid for this game, um, and co consequently it's received about 2,100 views on my first uh, first episode or my first look. Um, uh, the one thing that uh, developers have no control over keys, it's the publishers. And all publishers care about are subscriptions. So, you know, big titles like these, um, where there's a lot of publicity and a lot of hype, um, I'm just like you. I have to actually buy the game. And I've done uh, a lot of uh, coverage on that. I had a lot of experience with the mechanics around that game. So I, I'm pretty happy with uh, the game so far. I haven't done any additional videos because they're working on, on fixes. So they've been releasing patches almost every day. They're making, I mean, that's why they released it, to work out and flesh out the bugs. They don't have a huge testing team. Matter of fact, the publishers, I don't even think they like me. Um, so it is what it is, but I'm a big fan of the, the game and the developers are actually doing a good job of covering it. So... That review um, I left up was purely based, and I actually changed it uh, to not a review. Um, I don't even know what I called it, but I, I know I got beat up on the on the for Steam forums for that one. But I, the game's getting better every single patch, so I, I'm pretty excited about that as as well. So JCB Pioneer um, again, more content. I'm just we're waiting for more. Um, fixes, more polishing. Um, there's still some issues with the game. Uh, I, I still love it. Um, it it's it's a, again another uh, builder simulator. Uh, definitely something that that I'm very interested in, and will continue to coverage as they add and fix more things. Uh, Valnarok, uh, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, that's something that I've been playing with my wife and my friends, and we're actually having a really good time. Now, there are some issues with that game. I, I don't know what the PvP experience is like, but I can tell you the, the gameplay is, is quite nice uh, with the option of building. Um, building is um, is pretty... pretty uh, I mean, my wife has done a lot of building games in her past. Uh, Life is Feudal, several different uh, games uh, that require building, and uh, including, uh, uh, I can't even remember. I'm going to have to make clicky sounds here and go back and look. Um, what was it? Um, sorry, I wasn't ready. This is ad-libbed anyway. It's not like I script any of this. What was that we did? Citadel. I mean, they did a fantastic job on the castle in Citadel, um, and they're having they're struggling with building the base out like they did in that game. So we're hoping for some good fixes and and some polishing around the building because that that's the piece we love about it. But the adventures have been a lot of fun, and we've actually had a lot of fun doing uh, the hunts. 
uh, in, in the game. So hopefully you found some entertainment out of those because we've had fun doing them. So that, that's really it. Um, you know, most of the reviews I do, um, if they're free, they're, they're not going to be big titles in, until, you know, I build the subs up. They're going to, they're going to be games that, that I've purchased. The, the games that, um, look promising. I mean, I, I get a lot of different keys, but they're for puzzle games. I don't, I don't play puzzle games and platformers and unless there's something like really crazy, unique about it. Um, I typically won't do it. Um, I like the horror, creepy story ones. Um, none of those have gotten hits. Matter of fact, the, the most attention that I got out of any of them was almost 4,000 views on a game called Echo. Uh, actually, it's sitting at almost 4,000 views. Um, and I had a lot of fun with that. Again, the AI mechanics. Um, I, no, I found no bugs. Um, and, and every, every opinion I had of that game stands. Um, I, I don't think that there's, I hope they add more story, more of those puzzles, uh, in the form of DLC, but, uh, I, I really enjoy that game. So, and it continues, all, all these games continue to get views. So I, I assume I'm doing my job. That's the purpose of this site is to provide you a uh, first look of unwrapping that present, jumping into it, and then learn as I learn. If it's something that I enjoy, um, I'll continue. But really, when it boils down to it, it's the comments and feedback that you leave. If you don't leave me any feedback or any comments, I'm not going to continue to do the, vi the video if it's not something that I'm finding a lot of entertainment value out of. So... If it's something that you like, leave me a comment one way or another. If there's something you want to see, a tutorial, um, let me know because that's the only way that I'm going to be able to make these videos better and, and provide you with a good look of some of these uh, titles before you make a decision whether you're going to purchase it or not on a non-biased view. I'm just going to play through and and continue to play through as long as you're as you're watching and commenting so that's really it for our, for all i have for the blog i appreciate the community and i thank you guys for the subs um just letting you know i i've got actually three games to to review and actually work on and um look for some more episodes of freeman because um i'm actually i've learned a lot more about the squad mechanics and I've explored some of the other planets. I want to show that off. And they actually really need your support. So um, it is a Kickstarter. It's a family. Um, two programmers. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many are in the staff. It's very small. And they're basically making, I mean, they're gambling everything they have, like I did with my first indie, uh, indie game back in the 90s. So... I, I wish them all the luck, and, and it's really a good game, and right now you can actually go play it for free. So you guys take care, and as always, this is Razor from Razor's Edge. Until next time, see you when I see you.